Before we saw the heroes of Middle-earth on the big screen, there was Derek. Watch it, Alan. I'm shooting. I think most of us would agree that the Lord of the Rings trilogy is one hell of an accomplishment in film, bringing one of the most loved book series to the big screen, as well as bringing the world of Middle-earth to life is amazing. And we have Peter Jackson to thank for that. He did one hell of a job writing the script and directing the movie. But before he was known for directing one of the most loved trilogies in all of film, he was known for B-grade schlock. And I say that with love. I just cleaned it, but... Oh, that's gross! When it comes to pre-Lord of the Rings Peter Jackson, he's most well known for his blood-soaked masterpiece Dead Alive, aka Brain Damage, the goriest movie ever made. He also directed the 90s horror comedy The Frighteners. But even before that, he directed this dirty Muppets-style movie called Meet the Feebles. Picture if The Muppets was mixed with South Park, and then directed by John Waters. And then there was Bad Taste, Peter Jackson's first feature film. This is a very low budget movie. The plot is out there. You have this government team called the Boys, no not that one. They're the Earth's first line of defense against an extraterrestrial threat. And the moon. Yeah, and the moon. So before you had the men in black, you had the boys. They go to this small town where the population has disappeared, and they discover that a group of aliens in disguise has killed the population. You see, they plan to use the human race as the main course in their new intergalactic fast food restaurant run by their leader, Lord Crumb. I suppose you're wondering why you're soaking in Reggie delivered secret herbs and spaces. Tomorrow we're having you for lunch. So the boys go in to stop the aliens' evil and ridiculous plan. But the good news is, they have a secret weapon. Derek. <laughs> this is an interesting movie to watch, especially if you're a fan of the Lord of the Rings movies. It's fun to see where Peter Jackson got his start. I can't bring myself to call this a good movie, but it is a blast to watch. Sometimes entertaining can be just as good as, well, good. When I call this movie schlock, I don't mean that as an insult. You can tell that Peter Jackson was very aware of what he was making. We will be heading for Nelignard with six of our co-workers in a state of permanent death. They died today, murdered by some real arsehole. We do get a good amount of gore in this movie, nowhere near the amount of dead alive, but still, we get plenty of bloodshed to keep us gorehounds happy. One of the things that makes Bad Taste so much fun is the low-budget gore effects. Yeah, they aren't very believable, but they're still pretty impressive for a movie with such a low budget. And their cheapness is part of the movie's charm. It makes you want to go out and make your own low-budget horror movie. I recommend anybody go out and make their own low-budget horror movie, because they're the most fun movies to make. Eat lead, sucker! <laughs> The dialogue is cheesy and fun, and when you mix it with the gore scenes and the gross-out moments, it just gives you this big shit-eating grin. 
I don't think it's possible to watch this movie without a shit-eating grin. It's funny making the connection with Lord of the Rings. The same man who brought us this... <laughs> ...also brought us this... <laughs> The same man who brought us this... If you want him, come and claim him. ...also brought us this... <laughs> the same man who gave us Gandalf on the big screen... YOU SHALL NOT PASS! ...also gave us Derek. I'm a Derek. Derek's don't run. Derek was actually played by Peter Jackson himself. He also played the role of the minister and one of the alien henchmen. In fact, a lot of the actors in this movie took on more than one role. That's the case in low-budget to no-budget movies. You take on multiple jobs. Towards the end of the movie, we finally get to see the aliens in their true form. And they're hilarious. You three, kill them. The rest of you get these bodies on board the ship. You get that 50s sci-fi vibe from them. And just like with the gore effects, they have that cheap charm to them. You'll notice that the heads of these aliens are bent back slightly. They were originally supposed to be completely elongated, but Peter Jackson had to make these masks in his mother's kitchen, and when he was putting them in the oven to harden the latex, he had to bend the heads backwards so they could fit in the oven. Fun fact! <laughs> it's impossible to take this movie seriously, and you're not supposed to. Almost everyone is giving an over-the-top performance, they're still putting effort into the movie, but you can tell they're having fun. I do love the Lord of the Rings movies, but I wish Peter Jackson would come back and do another gory, schlocky, over-the-top horror movie again. I say give us bad taste, too. <laughs> I wonder if people ask him about this movie. If I ever got the chance to meet Peter Jackson, I'd have him autograph my Bad Taste DVD. No Blu-ray release yet. Now let me ask you, what's your favorite schlocky, gory, over-the-top cult classic? And would you like it if Peter Jackson made another horror movie? This is your buddy Justin, here to remind you that the Grindhouse will never die. Now you'll never be able to watch Lord of the Rings without thinking of this. 